I came here today really to um, see what was available from the latest Creole package, uh, to learn a bit more about ThingWorks as well. Um, obviously with the Internet of Things becoming more prominent, I wanted to see how that could be invested within our company. We're here at the event today because Enio is one of our sponsors and they've been really kind providing key shop for us, which really sets us apart from the competition. Our markets, our market, PTC's market, manufacturing markets are all being disrupted by digital technologies and the worst thing you can do is do nothing. Really good to allow people to see how to connect the dots between AR, VR uh, for their business and how that could work as a use case. We have been working for the last couple of years to implement um, the windshield platform together with Integrity. Well, uh, I'd like to single out the uh, demonstration of uh, SimSolid. Uh, that was an absolutely stunning uh, piece of technology. Uh, the short message I would give to uh, any Keyshot user in a couple of sentences would be try out what suits you the most. Try to optimize the settings. Try to see what is like the perfect solution for you. What are the render settings? And always think outside the box and try different things. It's all about trial and error to get the best solution as possible. The thing I enjoyed most about the day was the talk from Nils on the, the specific things within Keyshot and how to use them. We're going to take back to our team some uh, skills that we've learned today, some processes that we didn't normally use, some different ways of thinking, different, particularly in the rendering side, using materials different to actual production materials and thinking what properties you want from that material and what render output you want from that material. And we're already seeing that those companies are taking market share away from some big players because they're able to move quickly, because they're able to introduce technology really quickly and, and take these new ideas to market to a generation that's loving cool ideas and new, cool, new products. You know, these people are looking at that rather than the standard old school brands. So yeah, it's a really exciting time and uh, I think this, this following year when I stand here, maybe that'll be a very different picture again. So I'm looking forward to that.